Hey, Scorpio. Here is yet another tarot reading for the sign of Scorpio for the month of December. We've got a few going on. Okay, we're going to do late December tarot reading for Scorpio. And it got me wondering if you ever noticed a lot of the Scorpio videos in the tarot world are the ones that get the most traction. Like not just mine, but a lot of a lot of them. I've noticed this. So I'm wondering is it Scorpio watching their own readings? Or is it more of a cross-watcher energy, really curious about what Scorpio is up to because of Scorpio's mystery? You let me know what you think. I mean, maybe it's a good mix because Scorpio is the sign of the occult. So we have a knack for, you know, tarot readings in the first place or like psychic stuff. Let's see. We're one of the signs. Yep. Let's see what's going on here for you, Scorpio, this time. Late December. Ooh. So I will tell you this. And first of all, I'm not surprised. Secondly, um, you got this energy here, Scorpio, of someone who is wearing a facade. Okay. So... I'm just going to call it like it's the other person, but you'll know if it's you. There's, there's a person wearing a facade. I'm almost getting like someone's really sweet natured or kind or loving or friendly or trying to be like maybe even extending an offer here. Okay. But there's something else underneath that. Let's see. I, I don't know, man. Is this romantic or is this something else? Let me see. Okay, hold on a minute. You got all this stuff popping out. Of course, you get the past energy and holding on way too tight. So there's definitely an energy of the past that someone's holding on to that they're not letting go of. This could be some sort of grudge or a relationship that someone's having hard to let go of here. Okay. What's this? Yep. So there's a stagnant energy and a huge desire to kind of make up with somebody here. This is pretty much what I'm getting. Let's see. Seduction. I'm hearing you're my sunshine. You are my sunshine. Allure, desire, and manipulation. Doesn't that look like there's some sort of crime scene in the back right there? Okay, there's someone here who did something that's kind of like messed up. Um, I don't feel like this is a secret because it feels like it's very open. It's like blatant. So there's definitely someone here feeling like they've been wronged. And I also feel like this person is trying to make up with you or you're trying to make up with them. So there's definitely some sort of... Mm -hmm, I'm getting like specifically the manipulation aspect of this, but there's the desire to want to make up with this person. Let's see. We got courtesy, thoughtful, polite, good manners. Is that you, Scorpio? Are you on your best behavior? At least in public, right? <laughs> Let's see. I'm teasing. We have ghosts of the past. The past returns for a time. Of course it does. It always does every single Scorpio reading. Um, strangely lonely, holding on way too tight. Okay, yeah. I don't know. Someone here is like making it difficult to move forward is basically what this is. Okay. Maybe it's a fire sign energy. I don't know. Maybe that's what the sun si sunshine was about. We also have this. Violet Duchess stifled bored and stuck yeah someone's being stubborn guys you're dealing with a very stubborn energy here so let's see what's going on because this could play out in so many ways i just need some direction here spirit let's see what's going on all right for scorpio there you are showing up in the deck here late december for scorpio and you're like i'm just trying to be nice i'm just trying to extend my heart my love Maybe for some of you, your condolences for someone who's going through something here. 
and you may have like a history that someone doesn't want to let go of. I'm hearing what a jerk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's going on here with Scorpio late December? I'm also seeing someone switching up their hair. That's another story though. Let's see. Look, Scorpio, this makes sense here. You feel bad about something, okay? And you're looking at it like, damn, that really sucks or that sucked back there. Or, I can't believe that happened. So this is the feeling of regret. This is the current energies. We're gonna see what's coming of this because maybe you're transitioning out of this, but there's definitely something that's happened here that you're just not happy about, okay? Like maybe you lost your connection with somebody from what I'm seeing and it's like, I don't know, you still are very close with this person somehow, maybe even like just energetically there because I'm seeing this bridge, but I feel like someone's not meeting the other halfway is what I'm seeing right here. Mm -hmm. Look at this. You got hermit energy um, as your challenge. I'm getting what have I done? Huh. I'm specifically getting here that you're trying to find a solution or someone is. All right. So from the heavens, you do have this 10 of pentacles thinking about maybe your stability or a family matter. Some of you thinking about finances here and building for the future, but we'll see. There's someone here very wise. Or it's like we need some sort of wisdom when dealing with this situation. Okay. Six of Wands from the Abyss. Interesting. This is definitely a situation that you feel you know it could be fixed or it doesn't have to be so difficult. At the same time, I feel like you're like, I'm almost seeing like full card energy with this. So it feels almost like you're saying, I did my part. You got to do yours. I'm okay with the way I'm acting. I hope you're proud of yourself. There's something like this going on. Okay, recent past, that's the two of pentacles. Backside, near future, okay, wow. So this is what's stuck here. I don't feel like this is on you, Scorpio. There's something here that's not within your control. Maybe that's what you're bothered by or there's some sort of struggle with this situation because it's not in your control here. It's like forcing someone to bend uh, maybe they feel that way. I don't know. Look at you, Scorpio. Why are you showing up with a devil card? Huh? All right, we'll get to it. So outside influences, you got some King of Pentacle energy. I feel like... I'm getting a couple things here. So I must feel like a deviation from a relationship or something like that. But I'm also getting the energy of like a taskmaster. So maybe this has to do with your finances as well, but we'll see. Your hopes, fears, and feels. You got the nine of swords. You're bothered. Okay, I get it. I just feel like this is almost like, man, I don't know what to do. I've exhausted all my options here. I did, I did my part. That's basically what it is. Yeah, the most likely outcome we have the magician backside. Very nice. Okay, let's check the bottom. Just look for some context clues and then we'll get into it. Yep. So I specifically see, like, look at this. There's, there's Empress energy, the three of cups and the temperance. There's some sort of offer or some party invitations. You know, people are getting along over here is what I'm seeing. And then I kind of see like trying to get back to where people are happy. People are celebrating. People are joyous. And someone is not given back with that six of pentacles. Like I said, we kind of talked about this. And it's almost like, I don't know what the heck is going on. There's like moon card in both of these energies. It's like, I don't really know what's going on. People are upset or someone's upset. There's like an uneasy feeling here. And you're kind of like, well, 
I'm going to be okay with it or something like that. Cause we do have this nine of pentacles and the lovers, this is definitely like a, a dedication to self or I'm going to make sure I'm okay at the very least, you know, it's like, I choose me. All right, fine. I choose me. You know, this is kind of what this is, but that offer is still there. It's like being extended somehow. So let's see what we're looking at. Let's see about this five of cups, Scorpio. Tell me about it. Tell me about this five of cups, love. What happened? What's this? Seven of wands. The two of pentacles. Okay. So yeah, so you're, you're thinking about something that's already happened. This is referring to your recent past. So it's kind of like, maybe you're kind of going back and forth about this relationship here that you feel like is not, not working. It's kind of, it feels like something that was meant to be very stable or it was kind of ongoing in a sense. And then suddenly it's not. And you're like, how do I get it back to what it was or what's going on here? Kind of like a state of bewilderment. Okay. Yeah. So this is really bothering you. Um, you have the 10 of wands here or it's bothering somebody Scorpio, but two of pentacles and the 10 of wands. you're really carrying this around with you right now, just currently. So I feel like you're ready to unload this. It's almost like you're going to unpack it or you're just going to leave it alone here. But I do feel like you would rather things be a lot easier. I mean, nobody really likes the 10 of wands. Okay. Let's see what's going on. The five of cups exactly five of cups on the five of cups so the ten of wands kind of magnifies things right so now you're kind of picking up where you left off or where you feel like you've lost something and it's like well let me pack up and get out of here if i have to one by one or you know a b c and d i'm going to do this first and see if i can get myself out of this five of cups energy which i see you doing because ten is an ending but I also feel like for those of you that this is relating to your finances, which I mean, it could be both because I see you upset over a loss. Um, this could be financial and a relationship too. I feel like you are putting yourself up to the task to doing like maybe a lot of tasks here over and over again or something that feels kind of repetitive so you can get out of a feeling of lack. Okay. I do see that. Let's see about this hermit as the challenge. Okay. I'm getting, it's almost like you feel you have some sort of nurturing relationship between you and whoever we're talking about. I am picking this up. And like I said, I feel like there's some sort of lack right now with this person or situation, but maybe you feel like you were only acting out of a place of wanting to make sure everybody was okay or that you're trying to here. Okay, Ten of Swords. And maybe you took on a lot of obligations here. The sun. Okay, the four of wands, lots of fire energy. Nine of swords. I feel like someone's leaving you hanging here, Scorpio. Your challenge is to have everybody have unity, togetherness, be happy, get along. And you may find yourself kind of feeling like it's not easy coming, especially with the energy you're telling me here. There's something about it that's just out of your control. I feel like you're looking for solutions here and somehow the group is not cooperating. So whoever you're dealing with is not cooperating. Um, maybe people you work with or people in your family or people that you're dating, whatever this is. There's a lack of cooperation here that's making you feel this nine of swords. 
And I feel like the energy here is you just trying to get to the bottom of things where there's been a 10 of swords. So someone, someone's definitely in a state of like, yeah, definitely loss, failure. Okay, it could be you. Look at that. The king of swords. I mean, king of cups there. That's you. And you're definitely geared up to conquer this energy. The five of pentacles, the five of cups, the five of swords. Which is actually leading to this devil energy. So we're going to see what this is because... I feel like this is really bothering you the most because it's not necessarily completely under your control here. The way that someone else is behaving. So... Let's see. Tell me about this six of wands. So we have Leo, Aries, Venus. Virgo, Capricorn. Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Yeah. Gemini, Taurus or any other earth sign doesn't have to be. Tell me about this five, six of wands here from the abyss for Scorpio, please. Mm -hmm. Five of swords. Okay, queen of swords and the devil. So, wow. What's going on with you? You keep showing up in this devil card energy. Um, wow. King and Queen of Swords. Okay. So look, I am getting this. And, and you do have this Five of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You you are definitely ready to face some sort of challenge here. Okay. I do feel that. And it is a person. Um, and you guys are not seeing eye to eye from what I can see. There's a lot of manipulation going on or like power play between you and whoever this is okay and I feel like it's gotten to the point where you feel like you called it like you saw it and the other person matched you and they feel the same so this is definitely you being completely aware of a situation between you and someone that's kind of separating you in a way and people are both acting like they don't care or nonchalant or, you know, in the midst of some sort of problem that's actually causing isolation here. I don't think that's true, okay? Um, see, your angle is kind of like, let's just get it over with, um... I know what to do here. Let's talk it out. Let's hash it out. If we have to like exchange words with one another, do that too. I'm down. Like it's, it's something like that. And I feel like you, this may have already happened where it's like, maybe you guys exchange some harsh words. Yeah. It's, it's pretty much what that's saying there, especially with the devil card energy. It's like you saw someone acting a certain way, or this is you Scorpio. This person feels the same way about you from what I'm seeing. So someone was acting a certain way here and you basically called them on their bluff or you called them on their BS and you're like, you're not going to be doing that. Okay. Don't, don't do that here. And somehow it was a little too harsh, I guess, or, or this is you. Maybe you are being a raging D bag or whatever this is. Okay. <laughs> anyway, they're saying that you guys both did this. All right. You're saying that maybe you have regrets about how this went down. I don't know how they feel about this. They're maybe just still mad here. I feel like you're mad. Someone's mad. Tell me about this two of pentacles in the recent past. For Scorpio. Why is the back of the two of pentacles here? Five of pentacles. I 
But this feels like in the recent past, this, this has already happened. So in the recent past, right, you're kind of like, how long is this going to go on for? And I can't keep this up forever. I'm not going to keep doing this forever. I'm not a show monkey or whatever this is. I'm not putting on a show for people. There's something about this that you felt like you had to step out of your comfort zone here to extend yourself. And I don't feel like it went as planned because you're still showing in the recent past this five of pentacles energy, okay? I'm just curious what else is here. Yeah, so that's the thing. It's like there was an opportunity to kind of heal the situation. You got temperance, um, the knight of wands, and the, the magician. This is you. You're saying, hey, can we, you know, fix this? Can we talk? Here's an opportunity. Let's temper this energy. Um, we can heal this. We can calm this stuff down here. It didn't it didn't work or just was not reciprocated. So that's what I'm seeing. Sagittarius Gemini energy doesn't have to be. All right, let me, tell me about this 10 of pentacles from the heavens on Scorpio's mind here. What's this about for Skirp? Ten of Swords. Yeah, so there's basically... You feel like you're losing something pretty established here or like your relationship with this person established. Maybe you share um, people in common. Like, like, for example, a group of people. So this could be a family or just people in general. And now you feel like this is kind of falling apart here. Let me see. The Page of Wands, the Empress. Wow, the Hierophant energy. And there you are, Scorpio card. This one wanted to pop out and I was like, what's going on? I don't know why this is popping out, but I guess I know why now. It's you. Yeah, someone's being a little defensive here. Um, I feel like you're, you, you know this anyway. It's not like a surprise or anything. And this feels like to me, you're wondering if there is another approach or maybe even if someone is going to initiate communication here, but in the meantime, just kind of chill for a bit is what it feels like. It's like, Can we restore it for the group? Or we have a we have a bigger cause than this. There's something like that going on. Like um we have some other co um conquer contract to honor. And I feel like you're thinking about this. So there's some sort of higher purpose here that you're you're thinking about. So I, I guess you're looking at it, the bigger picture about this situation. I feel like this is you kind of making peace or trying to stay calm here. And for the most part, I think that's working. Yeah. But I do want to see why you have this devil card down here, of course. Again, there's just an energy of maybe like a hierarchy here within some sort of relationship or I don't know. Um, yeah, or workplace or whatever this is. There's some sort of hierarchy that you're kind of I guess honoring or this is them. Okay. Because it feels like to me, you want to nurture this. Let's see about this wheel in the near future. 
But like I said, I also see you just making peace regardless. I feel like that's your that's your prerogative. Let me see about this wheel with um, divine timing, actually, in the near future. You guys have a lot of Taurus energy in this um, reading. The Three of Wands. Tell me about this wheel in the near future. The Fool. I'm telling you, there's something about this Fool energy that I was feeling for you. Yeah, it, it's really kind of like in the near future, you're kind of realizing, well, you know, I put myself out there. I did what I what I could. And that's pretty much it. And now the only thing I can do is wait until something else changes. But this is out of my control, especially with this side of the wheel here. That's the side that says divine timing or other forces are in control. Okay, so now there's some sort of decision. Wow, you're wondering, you're like, is this going to change here? Um, is there another approach? Maybe you're thinking about another approach. Okay, because I do see some communication on your mind from the heavens. Just to restore some sort of peace and to honor some sort of contract, whatever this is. All right, let's see what else is here. Justice, that's what I'm saying. Balance, restoring the balance. Yeah, so this is it. So you're just leaving it alone at this point. You're like, okay, I did my part. That's kind of how we started this reading. I won't go too much into this. I did my part, nothing else I can do except wait. Maybe something will change or maybe it won't. But in the meantime, I'm gonna decide to focus on other things. Not my problem. Basically what this is saying to me. All right. Um, what's this? This is Sagittarius, Libra, Cancer energy. Tell me about this double card, Scorpio. Like, why? Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> That's you. So you right now. Let me see. I want to, I feel like I need a, you know, I want another deck for this because actually, let me do this one. Tell me about Scorpio and this devil card, please. Because I'm intrigued, Scorpio. You got me intrigued here. Okay, wow, Page of Cups. Man, look at that, Five of Cups. Scorpio, you make me so sad. Five of Pentacles, come on now. Okay. This is you, Scorpio. I mean, here's the thing. You're sitting amongst this situation, this problem that's being left unsolved. It's driving you insane, okay? It's driving you mad. You may start to think, you know, this person's doing this to get back at me, or maybe this is you. Um, from what I'm seeing, though, I'm seeing you're trying to make peace. So I feel like you feel someone could be either being manipulative or holding a grudge or something of this sort, okay? So this is you sitting amongst this five of cups and the five of pentacles with your cup of love here, okay, page of cups, and the hangman. And you're kind of seeing your offer is not really being accepted, but the problem still stands. This situation is still here. And you're kind of like, well, my hands are tied. But this is advice for you to try and think of another way. Because whatever you're telling me, whatever it is that you've done here or you're doing, it's not working. That's what you're showing. Another way. I don't know. I don't know what that is. But this is kind of like... My hands are tied. There's nothing I can do. There must be another way. So maybe this is just given it time and it might come to you, especially with the hangman. It's kind of like sudden inspiration. So hmm. there's your three of cups right there and the two of cups. See, ten of cups. This whole situation is kind of washed down the drain over some, you know, remarks or whatever happened here with two people or more, maybe more people are mad. 
Is there anything else Scorpio can do? I feel like you're just telling me you're just going to see if it changes itself, which, I mean, I, I can see that. Um, if someone's not really, yeah, if someone doesn't want to be involved, there's nothing you can do. Okay, page, yeah, it's telling you to think of something. You're dealing with someone who's really upset or they're mad here or they're still mad. I also feel like it's almost like there's a sense of of I guess shame okay so maybe you're needing to just simply see this person's perspective or there like I said there's some other approach but I'm pretty much seeing this person is doing some sort of silent treatment here We got Capricorn, water signs, earth signs. Okay, I already said Capricorn, but um, Pisces, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah, I feel like your angle is kind of like, let me just leave this alone for a while. I get it. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. Okay, I'm seeing the Nine of Swords, but you're still, you're still thinking about it because we're going to get to that too because that's how you're feeling and it popped out. So must be something here. Let me see. I focused, I focused it. Tell me about this King of Pentacles and the outside influences. Who is this or what is this or what's this about here? Please and thanks. I also feel like, guys, um, You could be not noticing some sort of financial offer that's coming in here. Especially if this is relating to a financial situation. Okay. So maybe you're you're missing a, like a a notice, an email, a phone call, an offer. There's something like this going on. All right, let's see about this. Ooh, that's you, Scorpio. So you got Scorpio Death Card Energy here, the Six of Wands, and the Temperance. Well, okay. The Chariot. Interesting. There's victory here, guys. You do have the Six of Wands. And this time it's not attached to this devil energy. There's someone here who's forward facing who wants to, I guess, squash this idea of ego or pride, okay? And they're, they're coming in with more understanding and more patience here. Or this is you. I feel like because we have the back of the wheel card, I feel as though this is coming toward you. We are seeing the chariot again. Justice is going to be restored here. Because someone is interested in reconnecting with you with the Six of Cups. Okay, well that's good then. So we have Cancer, Sagittarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio energy here. Tell me about this. There may also be someone else communicating between you and someone here that is actually beneficial. That's not everybody. Tell me about this Six of Swords. Hope Spears feels for Scorpio. Ace of Swords. What happened, Scorpio? Mm-hmm. 
Okay, now I can see that you're pretty much overthinking this, but your train of thought is like, what am I gonna do? I, this is basically scrambling, I can't do anything, I tried this, I tried that, what else, what else am I supposed to do? It's okay. Um, I do feel like this is not something that would fix by your efforts right now, and there's no point in stressing. It's not, it's not gonna help, is what I'm saying. You do have this two of wands and the the three of pentacles. So it's like you're trying to restore a relationship with somebody or have cooperation with somebody and it's driving you insane. It's not worth it, okay? So this two of swords and this ace of swords is telling me that this is just going to put you in a bad state, okay, mentally. And you might get really exhausted because nine to the one here, we get a 10. So just be cautious here. Um, maybe if you're feeling stressed or you have some sort of anxiety or concerns or worries here that are bothering you, look into something soothing or calming that is good for your soul, okay? Alter your diet or caffeine or, I don't know, alcohol or do some meditation, okay? Um, because this is you up in your head and it's not going to be beneficial. Bad for your cortisol levels, you know? Let's see about this magician on the backside for your most likely outcome for Scorpio. Something you started here is starting to grow. You're seeing some results. Let's see what this is. The Seven of Pentacles. Three of Wands. Pretty much off in the distance here. Let me see, Ace, yep, Ace of Pentacles, that's lovely. And the Three of Cups, I'm telling you, it's coming in, Scorpio. May not be on your timing, I see you doubting it, I see you kind of questioning it, I see you kind of like, what am I supposed to do, like we kind of talked about here, okay? Because you're thinking about like, should I put some efforts? Does this person want me to put efforts? Like, what do I want to do? And a lot of thought going into this. And it's like, this is pointless. I'm seeing like pointless struggles, pointless conflicts, stuff like this is happening here. Okay. Um, I feel this is coming toward you and your, whatever seed you've planted here, it's going to grow. It's going to grow. It's going to produce results. There's communication. It may be off in the future a bit, okay? Look at that. The Six of Swords. That's getting to a better place. Something's coming in. There's communication coming in. It's the offer you're looking forward to. It's here. Some of you, this is a work offer. Whatever it is. It's here. And this is also, for some reason, you have some news coming in. About, like, a... It's either an, an offer or you actually have money coming in too. So your future looks good here, guys. Like I said, we're just worried about, I guess, the situation, understandable, but yeah, chill out for a minute, Scorp. It's cool, okay? It'll be good. Love you so very much. Feel free to check your other placements or your other readings, Scorpio. Your friends, your family members, your neighbors, coworkers, Peep and Tom, Peep and Tanya down the street. Check their placements too so we know what they're up to. Kisses. Love you, bye. This is a long reading. Oh my gosh, what happened?